these I hear these excited uh, examples of of things that could truly move us forward here because of the situation we've been forced into. I think we're going to see innovation in the classroom and online. And I'm just curious if you think about you know what um, what are the components? You, when we were chatting before the the the, the live uh, feed here, you talked about the active ingredients of learning. Could you just just take us there? Because I think right now we're all locked into this silly mindset of it's online or it's in the classroom, and we have preconceived notions of both of those. Uh, but but you said let's not get the cart before the horse. Tell tell me about that, and tell me about the active ingredients of learning the way you're thinking about it. Yeah, and I think you know this is as true pre-COVID in classroom situations and technology delivered uh, education situations as it is now, which is too often we get focused on the technology for learning, whether it is a teacher or whether it is a computer. And, and we can often get ourselves trapped into kind of thinking a, through a deficit-based uh, lens where we're thinking about what's not available through technology compared to what can be done in a classroom. And I think we really have to flip this around. This is true of thinking about our learners too, to, to have an asset-based approach to say, wait, what are the things that really work well with this way of delivering education? And that's, again, true for teachers, but also true for technology. I really love your story about bringing in a couple of people. It's easy to do in a Zoom session because everybody's sitting there online. And boy, is it complicated logistically in a live session, right? So the trick is to be aware of these new things. And then the cart before the horse issue is before you get all excited about the technology and what it can do, even though that's fun to do, you have to start from how does learning work in a human mind and how does motivation to learn work? What, you know, why is a student going to start, persist, and put in mental effort into this work? Right. And what do we know about the practice and feedback uh, uh, that's needed for a mind to become good at this? And that's independent of whether it's done by a one-to-one -one tutor sitting right at your side or a classroom setting, or you know, online synchronous or online asynchronous, that what is it your mind has to go through to actually build the mastery that, that you need? And once you have clarity around that, then you look at the affordances of whatever the technologies are you have available, and then you can start to say, oh, 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 I can get this active ingredient that really is the key part of learning. It'll look different online, but it actually is here, and I can actually make that actually work. Um, 